Hi guys, so this is a video that I've been meaning to upload for a while and I was gonna put it on the main channel a while back. However, it never got put up. So today I'm going to be putting it up and I'm gonna be putting it up on the side channel. So that's gonna just explain a few things, but be sure to check out the video the Psychic Twins did on their channel. They did a part two and so many of the things that they predicted have come true in my life and it's absolutely insane. Their content is so fascinating. Like this if you enjoy the video and let's get started. Basically, I like to get personal with you guys. I'm like, okay, how can I take that to the next level? So I decided to have my first ever psychic experience with my subscribers. Literally, I filmed it for you guys. I've never had any psychic experience ever. So basically, I met with two psychic YouTubers. You will see them and hopefully recognize them in a bit. They said things that I'm afraid to even think to myself that are true. It was insane. Let's get started. They all keep requesting these glasses to come back. Oh, all right, I'll bring them back. I'll feel like Peter Parker again. Cool. You can hear the full thing on their channel, but basically one of my past lives was a mermaid. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're the first mermaid that we've ever had. Absolutely. So. This, I thought, was so interesting. As you guys know, I have a love for music. Just amount of vinyls behind me. <laughs> feel that you're going to be joining a band and you're going to be songwriting. We talk about my dream. I play guitar by myself in my room. Like, to play with someone else, to play with other people would be the the coolest thing. Did you guys buy my ticket? Which by the way, maybe while you're watching right now, comment your favorite music. You guys have all some suggestions. Also, they mentioned touring in Europe. Well, and maybe even touring in Europe a little bit, either for meet and greets or um, with the band. A lot of my favorite bands come from the UK. Obviously, I watch a lot of UK YouTubers and so on. They're also going to appear in a film and mm -hmm. some kind of a series. Do you do anything Ooh. like that? I did. I had a minor part recently. I had my first ever audition over the summer, which I weirdly got the part for. I don't know why. I'm cringy. Um, I don't think I talked about this on my channel, but yeah, I played a drummer. It's really freaky um, because the day before I met with them, someone was talking about this with me. Japan is going to love you too. And anyway, you can get to travel to Japan. We try to get your manager to book you on anything in Japan. It's a best <laughs> life for you. It's kind of funny. Well, obviously, as you guys know, I love anime. Everyone keeps saying that my clothes remind them of Japanese culture and so on. Stuff I'm like, this can't be a coincidence. Stuff later that I'm going to tell you, I was like... So, I don't know whether you're going to be designing a line of clothes or doing something with clothing design, yeah. but you're a exactly. natural for that too. Is that Absolutely. a dream of yours? Yes. Oh my gosh. My style is oh. crazy, but they actually like it. It's not crazy though. <laughs> no. If you guys are down, I would love to. <laughs> it was really, really, really funny because I had a meeting about my future and stuff like that the day before. And someone mentioned they would love to see me intertwined with apparel. It seems like I might actually not be forever alone. <laughs> the guy you're going to be with, it feels like he's in business. He's very good at business and computers and management. Yeah, he, he, very, very Directing. smart. Right when they said this, I thought of two people because it made sense. They said there was a guy YouTuber that was admiring from afar and also a girl YouTuber with a girl crush. There's a YouTuber wow, that has... Say that. And there's even a girl YouTuber that has a girl crush on you. <laughs> Did you feel that? <laughs> I mean, like, huge girl crush. I'm not making this stuff up. And if you're that guy YouTuber or that girl YouTuber, um, hey, I'm here. Most of these things they knew about me were things I've never even said on my channel, which is just so crazy to me. They were talking about how I had a dog that passed away. I asked them what my future in YouTube was going to be like. You're going to be doing YouTube for a long time. Okay, so you're doing here. really well, and you don't want to stop while you're really yeah, going. Five, six years at least. It feels like you're just going to get more and more momentum. <laughs> You're not missing this anytime soon. No, that was a joke. Some type of visual book, and I literally was talking about how that would be such a dream. Please, <laughs> advice, you know, just do that scrapbook thing, but make it a book. Yeah, and put some songs in that you've written, poetry. There you go. You know, lyrical, colorful, and fun, and with a great cover. And I described it was if I were to ever do that, exactly how I would do it. And then recently, I've been having anxiety worst that I've ever had in my life. To the point where I've had to seek help multiple times and the way they mentioned it was exactly how I felt. Don't feel like you have to be all things to all people. Don't feel like you have to please True. everyone. It's just getting to the point where I'm physically making myself exhausted. Don't worry, if things aren't going well for you that day, just say this, this too shall pass, this is temporary. Tomorrow's gonna be better, and just ride it out. I ended it with one of the hardest hitting questions. Um, 
I asked if I would have a mermaid photo shoot in the future. A mermaid on the beach <laughs> maybe with a couple of your yeah. mermaid friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's such a sarcastic, annoying. Do I have any mermaid opportunities in the future, like a mermaid photo shoot? I just, things were getting too serious, so yeah, it's, it was mermaid <laughs> people ever. It was one of the coolest experiences. It almost felt therapeutic in a way to be to kind of put everything on the table like that. You know what I mean? Part one is going to be on their channel. They talked about my past lives. They're the sweetest and the best. Um, thank you guys for being the coolest, most sarcastic, hilarious, awesome people on the internet. And I will see you guys in the future. Choo!